Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to create semi finished good material using special transaction MMB1. Normally we use uh, MM01 to create a raw material, any raw material, but MMB1 is specially designed to create semi finished good material. In previous video, I showed you how to create finished finish good material using MMF1. Now to create a semi finished good transaction code is MMB1. So here's this screen, very similar to the MM01 screen. You have to select the industry type and you have to give a material code. If you are using external numbers, otherwise system will give you a number. So I'll enter a copy from material because it is easy. Otherwise I have to fill each and every field. Then I press enter and now we have to select the fields. For the same finish good, you have to select basic data 1, basic data 2. Sales normally you don't select because you don't sell a same finish good. But in some business, there can be a scenario where you sell same finish good, then you have to use this, select this sales data as well. Purchasing no need and MRP 1, 2, 4. And then we have to select work schedule because we do the production and accounting one, accounting two, costing one, and costs costing two. Quality management option, warehouse management, those things are option. Then organization level data. So copy from uh, because I selected the copy from material. So give your plant and give your location and then continue so you can give a description for your same finished good material and in the basic data one you have to select your term measure and cross weight net weight basic data to i'm not going in detail each and every field though. and mrp views in mrp1 some mandatory fields are there MRP type and the base rate of measure okay. and the procurement type X. It can be E or X for same finish good in house production or both both procurement. Sometimes you do subcontracting, then you may need this procurement type X uh, for same finish good material. Or else you can use a faster well, like 30 subcontracting. MRP3 availability check you can select yes lead time as well. And then in work scheduling production spread location. If you enter this will come to your production order during the creation. And the supervisor's production scheduling profiles. If you are using those values, you have to enter those as well. And the, in the county one, you have to select the valuation class. It's very important. I think I explained those things earlier as well. And then the price control, moving average or standard price, and then your value. In costing with quantity structure material origin important costing to can keep the same data and you have to save the material that's it guys so this is how you create save finish good material using a special transaction mm 
B1. In next video, I am going to show you how to create a raw material using the special transaction in R1. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and press the bell icon as well.